Good morning. This video is for Watchtower. I've had so many reports this week of elders harming others at judicial hearings with their dreadful reasoning, just hurting people, that I must speak out against it. But it fits in nicely with where we are in John chapter 7. And I'll start off in verse 16. Jesus says, my teaching is not from myself. It comes from the one who sent me. Well, how do we know? He said, if anyone is prepared to do his will, that's God's will, he will know whether my teaching is from God. Now, I'll come back to that in a minute. But in verse 18, Jesus said, when a man's doctrine is his own, he is hoping to get honour for himself. So what do we hear from the governing body? We hear mostly, you've got to do what we say, you have to obey us. Whereas in fact it's Jesus Christ that we obey. Jesus' message was one of love. The one from the governing body is follow us, do what we say or else. So let's go on now to chapter 8 and verse 12 and see what else Jesus had to say about this matter. John 8 verse 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Anyone who follows me will not be walking in the dark. He will have the light of life. Now this phrase, he will not be walking in the dark, in the Greek it emphasizes this. It says he will not not walk in the dark. So it's translated in some translations as the one who follows Jesus will never walk in the dark. There will never be a vestige in, of darkness in those that follow Jesus Christ. But what do we find with Watchtower? We find secret rules in their judicial hearings. We have a secret elders book. We have secret commercial enterprises. There's so much darkness going on behind the scenes. But elders are shrouded in darkness. So what else is connected to darkness? Well, if we go back to chapter 8 and, uh, sorry, chapter 7. Now the Jews were disputing about whether Jesus was the Christ or not. Some were saying he must be the Christ because of all the works that he is doing. Others were saying, especially the priests, a prophet does not come from Galilee and we, these learned people, we have not put any faith in him. Now, the problem, the darkness here was a lack of knowledge, but a deliberate lack of knowledge. Did they ask Jesus, are you of the tribe of Judah? Were you born in Bethlehem? No, they didn't, because it, they didn't want to believe that Jesus was the Messiah, and they wanted no signs that that's where he was from. So if we go back to chapter 7 and verse uh, 16 again, where Jesus said, if anyone is prepared to do his will, that's God's will, then he will know if Jesus' teaching is from God. And we will also know if anyone else's teaching is from God or not. So what we need to do is not be in darkness with knowledge. We need to read the Bible for ourselves, stand on our own feet, and we will recognize what comes from God and what doesn't. And as far as I'm concerned, what is now coming from the governing body is not from God, it's from them. It's from man. So why can't they see this? They can't see it because they're in darkness. Over the last few decades, they've dug themselves into this trench of darkness and they don't want to see the light. Well, they can't see it. So it this organization will end because of the harm that they are doing. But the end will come from God because they are woefully misrepresenting God. How it will happen, I don't know. And I certainly don't know when. But it cannot be allowed to go on for much longer. Now, I have a local needs <laughs> item here for Watchtower particularly. The elder who abused me and harmed me with false accusations is totally incompetent and that along with his following Watchtower's unlawful, 
illegal, criminal, secret rules, it's a disastrous combination. And he has harmed two other people with false accusations, apart from me. So, local watchtower, I'm telling you now, this man needs to be removed from his position. It's not a case of if he hurts anyone else. It's a case of when. It will be disastrous. I've already gone to the police about this matter. We would have dealt with it if we felt that the last victim, who was extremely vulnerable, could be approached, and we thought it was too hard for that person. But the next time it happens, watched out, the police are aware of it, and they will deal with it. So I'm warning you now, the harm that's done by this man is your responsibility. So I apologise to my usual viewers for this, <laughs> this out-speaking. There is light. There is light, and it's in the scriptures. Bad religion doesn't mean there isn't good religion. There is good religion, and we can do it by sticking to the words of Jesus Christ closely and standing on our own feet as to what is right and wrong. So thank you so much for watching, and Watchtower, please take notice and come out of the darkness, although I know that you won't. won't I beg your pardon. So for those, I was in John 7 and 8 today. You might like to read these chapters through for yourself. It's very sad that Jesus had to deal with such opposition. But the truth will prevail in the end. Thank you so much.